Welcome to Social Media Connection. I'm Jay Darragon with The Relationship Economy. My name is David Bullock with The David Bullock Show. And David and I have been having a series talking about social currency, knowledge exchange, and value exchange, and some interesting concepts about how the social web is used to create value in business. In this last segment, though, David, I want to talk about the social currency of a relationship. You know, I wrote a book called The Emergence of the Relationship Economy. And when you look at the social web, it's really centric to relationships. Mm -hmm. People who have an affinity with others, who are attracted to others' content, who understand the value of exchanging. So social currency has a, has a context to relationship currency. What say you? Well, what say I? <laughs> All of that is very true. And one of the things we can look at here is just last week, we look at what happened on Twitter. And a, a gentleman named Ashton Kushner, yeah. he is a celebrity. And watch this. He has a relationship, even if it's a virtual relationship, with now millions of people based on celebrity. And people just wanting to know about, be gravitated or connected with that particular celebrity in, in the marketplace. Now watch this. That in itself is a currency because what did he do? He tied his celebrity, his content, to the context of a cause. He was trying to raise a million dollars. But in the, in the running, he got, was the first one to get to a million people on Twitter, which means he has a million eyeballs watching, watching him. His conversations. Watching his conversations, interested in his conversations to see what he's going to do to the point that then other media did what? They started reporting on the, the conversation that may happen or may not happen. Then they were reporting on CNN versus he trying to get to the million dollar mark. Not the million dollar mark, but the million follower mark. And think of that for a second. CNN is a broadcast network with news global. Mm -hmm. This is He was one person, a one. celebrity, and he got more traction mm -hmm. in the marketplace than CNN had. And previously, CNN was number one. Mm -hmm. When you think about it, you bring up a good term, celebrity. I'm working with several music artists today. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I've analyzed is they have a lot of followers on Twitter, but they never follow back. Mm -hmm. So they never really engage in that relationship. Not two-way. Not two-way. It's one way because that was the old school. I'm the star. Follow me. The social web presents a new dynamic for the music industry for artists because once they put themselves out in that space, the space says, oh, you're out here for a conversation. To have a conversation, there's got to be a relationship. If you follow a celebrity, you expect them to follow you back. If you don't, that becomes antisocial. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to get this across to music artists right here in Nashville, and they kind of stare at me. <laughs> well, the, 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 the marketplace has changed. Who yeah. controls the conversation there? Now, you, for lack of a better term, you are your own, you're what they call it, a, a prosumer. Yeah. Meaning, you produce content and you also consume content. So you can sit right here like we're doing here. We're in a virtual studio. Right. We're here. We have our own blogs. We publish books. We have email. We have Twitter. We have LinkedIn. We are producing content and pushing it out with the proper context. It's producing a conversation, which is now translating itself to currency because this, is a, this is a medium of exchange with relationships. So we're expanding our relationships with like-minded people that see value in what we put out, and we in turn get value because they feed us new knowledge, new information. But the social currency of social media mm -hmm. really is centric to the relationship dynamics. The human nature wanting to have a conversation in order to build a relationship. So no matter if you're a celebrity, if you're a news network like CNN, mm -hmm. or if you're a music star right here in Nashville, the objective should be to enhance the relationship dynamic. That way you build that currency that creates knowledge and revenue. And that's, and that's by adding value, by getting the data, looking at the information, adding your opinion, adding more to it, then it becomes more valuable information, which people will then say that is valuable, start to use, enhance their knowledge, attribute that back to you, and what did you just gain? More value in the marketplace. Just from, just from a very simple thing as sharing a link right. for a useful tool online. And as a result of doing that, you've established a stronger tie in a relationship to the market, mm -hmm. the people. So in summing this up, the social currency in relationships is being relational, right? is exchanging conversations 
adding value, we talked about knowledge, mm-hmm. giving an exchange back and forth. And you say, how does that all turn to revenue, David? They're asking that. I know they are. Well, if, if you can't have a transaction if you don't first engage in the conversation. There is, if, if there is no, what is it, money flows on communication lines. No communication, no transaction, no leads. Let's look at the hierarchy. First, they must know you. First, you do exist. The relationship. Right. They must know that you're there so that they can begin the relationship. Then after they know you, they might start to like you. A relationship is forming. And then when they like you, the possibility for trust occurs, and then the possibility for transaction occurs. But that's the hierarchy. If you're not in the space, they won't know you exist. If you're not there, they'll never like you. And if you're not there, trust will never form, and the transaction is actually impossible. You know, forming relationships in a marketplace means you need to be in that marketplace. It helps. And <laughs> the whole marketplace today is quickly and rapidly moving to the social web. Massive amounts of people are running there. Last week, Oprah Winfrey got onto Twitter and had 200,000 followers before the end of the day. She's reaching out to relationships. It's going mainstream. If you're not ready and you need help, give us a call. We'll be glad. Watch our videos. They're educational. Until then, I think we should come back and discuss this some more, David. What do you think? I think so. Thanks for your time. Take care.